Hello. I'm making this video for the second time. I made a video, a short video, called A Simple Life. It was six minutes long, that was all. And I uh, uploaded it to YouTube and it was all fine. And it was there for a couple of days, waiting in the wings. And I decided to put uh, some text on there saying, don't forget the premiere is on Thursday, this Thursday coming. So I did that and it asked me if I wanted to delete the original um, video. So I said yes, I meant to say no, I said yes. Which meant that I uploaded a completely black screen, just with some text saying about the, um, the premiere. Anyway, so there's your reminder, premiere is this Thursday the 24th at 8 p.m. Motorhead today. So the video uh, was called A Simple Life, the one that is no longer. <laughs> so A Simple Life. Now, I made the video because I was just thinking about this little dog, how beautiful and simple his life is and how our, our lives are so complex and complicated at times but we should be able to simplify our lives. And I was thinking, what does Bodhi want in life? What does he really need? Right, he needs food, water, love and ball. That's what he needs. And you could big all of those things up with love comes security. So he's got a house. Um, he's got safety. You know, protect him from other dogs maybe, that sort of thing. But it's all love, isn't it? He gets a massage as well of an evening, so that's love. Um, he also has a boat, don't lick. He also has treats, but that's food, isn't it? Um, but how simple, isn't it, for him? How wonderful, he's just got this beautiful little life. And he's got food, water, Love and ball. And this, we're class this as B.A. I know it's not, because we're not playing it, but it's a similar thing for him. He gets a lot of enjoyment out of it. And um, I said to him earlier, do you want to go to the woods? And he squeaks and he runs around. He's all excited and things like that. Come here, love. That's a good boy. Come on. Just waiting my time, there's some, a couple of big dogs up there, I just thought I'd let them pass slowly, get rid of them, have a simple life. So our lives, why are our lives so complex? It's because we allow it, isn't it? Our lives could be simplified, they could be quiet and calm and peaceful, if we want it. So how to simplify your life? Only you know the answer to that, really. You know what is complicated, complex, um, annoying, upsetting, um, time consuming, whatever. You know all of that within your life. And you can simplify your life if you want to. I made a video a long time ago. Um, and again, it was called this, I think, you know, simplify your life. And about two years went by and I got a message from a young lady who said something like, hi, Bri, um, I don't really bother commenting on your videos, but we do watch them all. I'd just like to say thank you. You made a video called Simplify My Life. Um, I'll tell you what I spoke about in a minute, but you made a video called Simplify Your Life and I watched that over and over again. I uh, spoke to my husband about it and um, cut a long story short, we both went part-time at work and we bought a narrowboat and we lived full-time on the narrowboat and our life is absolutely wonderful. And uh, they discovered that they love each other as much now as they ever did. And that's wonderful just to make... Um, just to make a little video, you know? Lovely, glorious green leaves today. 
in the beautiful dappled sunlight that Mr. Solar Face has given to us. Now in that video, uh, what I said was, and you'll be amazed that this works, but if you are working five days a week, if you decide to go to four days per week, you will notice that your take home pay is about the same. Because you pay less tax working four days per week, you're probably going to be something like a tenner worse off. So it's probably worth going four days a week. That's one nice way of how to simplify your life. But it doesn't have to be complex or complicated to simplify your life me how I simplify my life is to do more of what I love to do what, more of what I enjoy and the simple things in life like that tree it's beautiful but the simple things in life are absolutely amazing you know a couple of nights ago we sat on my out in my little zen area me and Bodes and had a slurpee and it had got dark and my little sort of twinkly lights had come on, my little solar lights and the, the black sky gave way, or the blue sky gave way to an orange glow and we just sat and watched it and it wasn't the best sunset in the whole wide world but it was a lovely sunset and we experienced it, we witnessed it, we spent time with it and it was wonderful We'd done all the playing in the day, all the B-A-double-L and all the rest of it. He did bring his B-A-double-L to me a couple of times. I said, no, you know, not now, it's too late. And I just sat, suffering my Slurpee, lost in my little thoughts, looking at the sunset with my little mate. And it was absolutely wonderful. That's how to simplify, simplify your life. Um, they say the best things in life are free and perhaps they're right. This now, this little bimble, it's wonderful. I've got nobody to please but myself. I can take my time. I'm at nobody's beck and call. I haven't got to do anything in particular. I've got some stuff to do, but, you know, nothing in particular. So if I'm here for ten minutes or five hours, <laughs> it really doesn't matter. What matters is that we slow ourselves down and we really enjoy it. And it's simple. It's very, very simple. Just looking, listening, and being. That's it. Okay, we've got to breathe. <laughs> but that's about it, you know. But how to simplify your, your life, really, I think, is to look at the things that are complicated and complex in your life. And things that... Come here, please. This way causing you problems and difficulties. Hello. <laughs> he was going the wrong way. Went to the road. Or towards the road. So to look at all those things and think, okay, what can I do? How can I simplify these things? And for the most part, it's what you think about them. You know, our prison is our brain sometimes. The greatest prison that man lives in is between his ears. That's a fact. But it just brings to mind, I don't know if you'll ever see this, Bex. Maybe you will. I've got a friend called Bex, bless her, and she's going through quite a rough time at the moment. She's grieving. She lost her best friend, and it's an awful situation for her. Bless her. But through 
grieving, we feel guilty when we laugh. It's a funny thing, but we do. Please don't lick. So I would say to Bex, to anybody else, just allow it, you know, allow whatever comes, comes. Simplify your life. And there's three things that if you allow, you'll realize that there's an inner peace that comes with this simplicity, this simplified way of living. And three things to remember, it's, it is possible to be happy, hurting and healing all at the same time. And you can allow yourself that. And just to repeat that, it's okay to be happy, hurting and healing at the same time. And tell yourself that. Believe that, because that is the truth. But tell yourself that. And that gives you permission to smile through adversity, through difficult time, through upset, through, through grief. You are allowed to smile. Your life does continue. And we all know that the, our loved ones would want us to smile. Of course they would. That's what they brought into our life. Most people that we love, that we care about, it's one of the things they bring is smiles to us. So we're getting into autumn. So they would want us to continue to smile. But as I say, it is okay to be happy, to be hurting and to be healing all at the same time. And you allow yourself that. Allow yourself to feel that. But for the rest of us, simplify your life. Hey, hey. And you have a better life, you have a better quality of life. And life isn't all about peace. It's not all about peace. But unless you have some peace, then you don't have a life. So you need to find your bliss, find your peace. And live a more simplified, calm existence. What is free in life, the sunset, the sunrise, the bimbo. sitting in the sunshine, topping up your vitamin D. I think we engineer our lives to either be complex or to be simplified. I know people on both scales. <laughs> I know people that are so busy in their lives, rushing around at work and rushing around at home and they're busy, busy, busy. And you know, they sit on the train to come home and they're on the phone, they've got the laptop open, they're answering emails, it doesn't stop. friend of mine ages ago told me that at 10 o'clock at night she is still answering emails at home and she's eating and her laptop's open or simpl simplify <laughs> your life say to your boss just let you know from now on at five o'clock I switch off that's it 
no phone, no laptop, no nothing. It's my time. And go out for a bimble, read a book. Simplify your life. If it can't be done in work time, don't do it. It'll have to wait for tomorrow, won't it? Simple as that. If you simplify your life. But you do have, by simplifying your life, you do have a more blissful experience. You know, you don't need, I don't think, to be rushing around. I don't think we're geared up for that. I don't think we, as human beings, I don't think we're made for all that rubbish. Look at this lovely path. Just bimble along. See where it leads. Take your time. And on my bimbles, it's important, I stop, I look around, I listen, I chill. Come here, Boat. Bodie. <whistles> Bodie. I'll back in a sec. So, I had a nice little chat with a woman. Her dog's got um, arthritis and she didn't want Bodhi jumping all over the dog, well he doesn't anyway. Um, that's what I mean about slowing yourself down, simplifying your life, because I'm not in any rush. I just stood and had a chat, it was only two minutes. But I find that sometimes somebody wants to chat for much, much longer and you never get annoyed with it because you think maybe you're the only person that's spoken to that person all day long. So we've got lots of yellow coming. She was saying a friend of hers was knocked over down the beach um, by a Labrador, hit her side on and broke her leg. Yeah, not being nasty, just running, just going mad. So, a bit of blue sky. Lovely. Beautiful day. I think by simplifying your life you're happier. That's what I think. Because it is about bliss, it is about peace, it is about relaxation. It is about not having too much to do. Calming down. I retired, when I was 48, I retired. I retired certainly from full-time work. I had this uh, conversation just yesterday. My my younger brother and my nephew's boy, both born on the 20th of December. No, 20th of September. God, I simplified my life and I'm so relaxed. I don't know what month we're in, but it was September, 20th of September. And uh, I sent my brother a message and he came back to me, which is nice. And he said, I suppose you're thinking about retirement soon. And I said, I retired when I was 48. I always wanted to retire when I was 50. Always wanted to do that. And, yeah, you know, I'm not bragging at a set of circumstances and everything else. I worked bloody hard for it. And I was very lucky that I could retire when I was 48. And for a few years, I didn't do any work. And, you know, then I went traveling for four years. And then the job that I do now, part-time, found me. And I thought, yeah, that's great. And I'm quite well paid for what I do. But um, that job, that little part-time job, and also my art gets us by. And again, it's simplifying your life.
Booty. Hello. <laughs> Hello, mate. Oh, these have got some red on these. Nice. Lovely. God, I can't wait for the reds and all the other colours of autumn to come through. So I made a decision years ago that I was going to retire when I was 50. No, come on. Um, and for no particular reason, really. Not really. You know, I saw a number of people um, that I thought were struggling on in life. And they were 60, mm. 62, 3, 4, 5. I thought, my God, they are struggling. Sunbathing they are. And I just didn't want to be old and ill and getting up and going to work. And especially doing the work that I was doing or mostly doing, you know, I knew that I'd come to an end at some stage. So I kind of knocked it all on its head. Bode, this way. This way, please. I think people down that path, we're gonna go that way. Bodie, this way. Bodie. Down no, that way. Here. This way. Go on. Yeah, I didn't know how, but I thought well, I was going to simplify my life in some way. You know, when I was in my 40s, I was going to work five days a week, very stressed, and uh, just slowly starting to hate it. Do you know, it's like a spring morning, it's got that sunshine but coolness with it. Ah, wonderful. This does me, you know. A simplified life. And again, without bragging or anything, it's just fact, but my life now is very simplified. I don't have don't have a lot of stress in my life. Don't have many people in my life because I find people give me stress sometimes. The work, as I say, it's just part time. Well, it can be as many hours as I want. It can be a hundred hours a week. I'm going to choose not to do it. And I accept it, um, you know, if and when, really. Might do four hours, might do eight hours, whatever. And I really like that. But as I said, I've worked hard to get to where I've got to. Um, so you've got to put in that work 
in the first place you've got to do that so if you're watching this and you're 20 I don't think you can simplify your life much you've got to work you've got to put in the hard work oh this is nice look at this I'm just bimbling along. Lots of wetness. Hello, my little baby. Hello, are you okay? Also, I think if your life is, if it is simplified, if it's calm and quiet, then your dog is calm and quiet. Little bird singing. Come on then, love. This way. This way. This way, bird. Hello. Okay, so try and work out how to simplify your life a little. How to live a calm, peaceful existence. And I think that is the key to life, I really do. If you can get away, if you've got a motor home or something like that, Get away every weekend is wonderful. I'll go out bimbling every day. That's also wonderful. Or maybe you stay at home because you're a recluse or because you're not very well or you find walking difficult or whatever it may be and factor those simplistic things into your life do more of what you love doing let people take care of themselves let life Roll on by. Simplify yourself, simplify your life. As I say, do more. Do more of what you love. And we love this. I'm getting out of breath, I'm getting tired. And I love it. Absolutely love it. Aeroplane in the background. And most importantly, if you simplify the your life, don't worry. Take the worry, take the stress away from your life. Be happy. 
Find what makes you happy. Do more of that. Follow your bliss. Have some calm. Have some peace in your life. Turn off a TV. Don't buy newspapers. Don't let Project Fear in. Hello, mister. <laughs> Come on then, we're going to slowly make our way back. Slowly, slowly, slowly. For a much needed Slurpee. I haven't made one today. So I've got to go home. Home as well. Home is to simplify your life, isn't it? Where do you live? Do you live in a place full of people or noisy or um, do you live in a place where you'd rather not? Some people do. A number of people do. I can even tell you, some of my friends have told me I'd love not to live here. I'd love to move away. I hate living here. I said, so well, move then, you know. Simpl simplify. Simplify your life. You're not a tree, you don't have to stay there forever. Find what works for you. Be happy. Take care of yourselves and each other. And uh, if you want to, I'll see you Thursday. That's this Thursday, 24 for 8 o'clock for the premiere. If not, I'll catch you another time. Okay, whatever you're doing, try and be as well as you can be, and try and be beautiful. Ta-da.